Hello, friends. This is the Spooktacular DIY Collaboration. Our hosts are... So Katie, and the co-host is Crafty Leaning. The challenge was either black cats or skeletons. Today, Terry will be making a black cat with a haunted house in pink and black. I hope you enjoy her spooky good fun.
but if I do a person, or if I was going to do a person, I would want it to look like a person. And I'm not real crazy about comical or, I'm just not, it reminds me too much of a person. So I doubt if I do even do a witch. I tried one the other day inside Painting for Profits and I wasn't too happy with it. So, I love the black cats though. I could do those all day long. And I, I want to bring it down. I'm going to look for some frames like that. They're just plastic. I got to be able to buy them somewhere and be able to make them in different sizes. But Deborah bought this one last night, so this one is going. All right, let me grab. And you know what? A witch, the nose is so hard to get a nose to look right on a witch. So if I have to struggle with it, I just don't do them. Um, Lisa, could you teach me how to do a witch? Well, I might need some help because I just, I don't know, I have to really like something in order for it to turn out. And it's why I love gnomes all the time and why I did not like, I still don't like painting Santa Claus. He's still not my, I've painted a couple of really good ones, but I have no desire to ever paint Santa Claus again in my life either. I'm just not one of... And it's not that I don't like Santa, I just don't. I don't like cartoonish looking people, I guess. And when they turn out looking cartoonish, then I don't like them as well. I don't know what I expect, but. <laughs> Lisa, I'm sure you're so busy, but yes, I need a course on witches. And you know what? I haven't had one gnat until I started speaking. So it was a big, uh, we didn't know if um, a polar, I did paint a polar bear last year. I've got one somewhere. I love the color. This one really turned out and I know pink is going to, I knew when I started this that this was not going to be an overly popular design that everybody would want to bid on it because it does not fit most people's Halloween decor. But it's going to make a great um, scan. And I can put it on t-shirts, I can put it on all kinds of things. So now I wish I had more time to make different pink and black Halloween. And what I do want to do for my painting of painting for profits group is I'm going to take actually that head turned out really good too. In fact, I think I like this head better. I'm going to make it into a big door hanger. Just the head, nothing nothing else with it. Just a big head with the witch hat. That'll look cute. Uh, the polar bear was just a small block. It was um, a small winter set. It had an igloo with it. He was just about five or six inches tall. He was about the size of a tear tray. Let me get some of this out of the center. And then I love how the pink pumpkins turned out here at the doorway. I'm gonna put a little bit of there. Up 
here. some of that off. I don't like it when it's real heavy. I just had a brush in my hand. Oh, there it is. Sometimes I think you can get too much and then it takes out some of the details. Thank you, Lynn. <sighs> Melissa, I still got to redo my black cap for you. But I'm going to make it as a door hanger. Um, I'm going to use it as a project for the big cat head inside my Painting for Profits group next week. It'll be one that I teach. And it'll be cute because you can have your, you'll be able to have your name personalized on the hat band and all the good things. It is diamond dust, and Tara, the last time I looked, it, I bought mine on Amazon, but they didn't have it last time I looked, and so I got it on the Michaels website. Hey, you can come in. I'm taking Gracie for a short walk. Oh, all right. All right, we're going to leave it off of the leaves. So I did this on my channel, not inside of Painting for Profit. So, ah. Uh, to make my line drawing before I added this to it. That just makes it a little bit harder. Um, but then whatever I make off of um, when I'm on my own page, then I use that line drawing. I may not paint it again, but usually they can do it with just the uh, line drawing. I liked my whole concepts with the gray around it was going to be the um, like a what do you call that when you have an old mirror that's what kind of finish it's supposed to have on it and then once I get it all done we'll put seal it with an outdoor sealer and then it's going to look so much better once all these colors kind of come together. Got this one little bat over here. I think that's all I'm going to put on it. Like I said, I don't want it overly overly done just to bring out some highlights in it.
and find my silver here. I think all the um, pinks coming around because of all the Barbie stuff, too. Even though I think the pink was pretty much out last year about this time. So this is just some um, silver that I want to wipe on. It's that. It's basically an enamel that'll just give it a nice shine as well. Actually, I really like that. It's got just a hint of silver, but I'm going to seal it with this because this is enamel. I don't think it even changes the color, but you can see the difference once it's sealed. We'll still seal it with an outdoor sealer. But it's just bringing those colors out so pretty. I'm going to do that all the way around. Oh yeah, I love it even more now. I think Barbie accelerated the pink, I think so. You know, Deco Art even came out with four or five Barbie colors and they're called the Barbie, the Barbie pack. Damn, it looks so pretty. Let me show you, see you in the frame. It does make them all pop. Melissa was doing it last year. I think, um, I think that Melissa even likes the teal, which I like teal as well. It was one of the colors that I had thought of on that last pumpkin. But I saw the ribbon at Sam's Club and I was like, oh, I need the pink once I saw the ribbon. And so it'll blend in with the frame perfectly because I'm not touching the frame because it's nice and shiny as well. Oh. That, I, I have to say, I think it's my favorite one so far. I know I say that every time I paint something, but I seriously think it's my favorite. Um, I'm in 
have to get a bunch of my paperwork done and out of the way so that I can sit and create because I'm going to do some more pink Halloween. Um, let's see. Pink, black, and turquoise. Um, so, anyway, that goes out to Deborah. I'm going to be mailing that to her here in a couple of days. And... Find something else to paint now.